Hi guys, welcome to Frog's Prop Shop. Today we are going to be working on FBI badges in the style of the X-Files. Okay, so before we start doing this, just a quick wee word. Um, if you live in the States, I don't know about the legalities of this. I don't know if it's impersonating a federal officer or if it's a crime or anything. So I'm just not going to touch that. I live in Scotland, the FBI isn't recognised here, this is perfectly fine. So, first thing you need, two black leather passport holders. Okay, you're better with two of them. One for the actual badge itself, another one for based on the scrap leather that you'll be using at the front. You'll need to source these yourself. Uh, a Google search, print them off. Uh, I printed mine on uh, photographic paper, just so I had a nice shine to it. And an FBI badge. This I found on eBay as an FBI money pin. Uh, it's a, it is actually a bit of, it's a money pin I suppose. It's kind of small for the actual official FBI badge. But those are the basics of what you need. Now we'll just jump straight into this. Let's go. Right, so the first thing you'd want to have done is when you printed these off, made sure that you print them off to size. That everything is going to fit in the place that it would as an FBI badge. So that's fine, that all fits. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this one and we're going to cut off our scrap leather. Now looking at this we're going to use the top half of this leather is the face cover here. Obviously we'll cut a window out for showing this. This is the same. We'll be cutting our bottom half off, cutting our window out here for this and we'll need to cut a badge shape out here for this. Uh, I'll be using the exacto knife and some scissors in order to do this. I'm not going to bore you with showing you me doing it. You'll show you'll be able to do this yourself. Right, okay, so we have our main bit. We've cut it in two. So we have one on top, one on the bottom. We're going to use a scrap bit to fill in the middle. So we'll just glue that straight in. And this obviously, like I said, you cut out the windows. So you take this, you get the right size on it, cut it a little smaller than the square. So there's no bits poking out the edge and we'll show you how to do this in just a second. So first of all, like I said, measure it, cut it and do it for the top Okay, up. so I've done the top one. I suppose when I think about it, the easiest way to describe this would have been as a photo frame. What you want to do is try and line up as best you can. It's not hard to do it with one hand because I'm recording this using my phone today. Oh. you get the idea so you fit that on so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be gluing this down there and then gluing that down on top and then it's going to be a very similar thing for the bottom only a little bit more complicated due to the fact that you've got the badge there but I digress so we'll get started on that ok so this is everything cut out and sat together ready for gluing we're going to dismantle it bit by bit so you can see absolutely every piece. So, two bits cut out to size. Like I said, I don't need some photographic paper. Just Google search for X Files FBI badge and you'll find molders and scullies. Right, gold badge. Eh, I took a bit of scrap leather and attached it to it. That way, the background. Should be leather on it when it's put on here. Your two bits of frames, I suppose we'll call them. This bit here, you can see here I cut out the shape of the badge so that I can tuck it in. So I'll be, <laughs> a mess can do it with one hand. It'll all be put together and glued piece by piece down, layer by layer. Uh, if you feel better doing it, you can 
glue it down to the frame first or you can measure up against that either way is fine uh, but just start gluing so with all the layers glued into place that's how it comes out now one thing I did do was I got some black boot polish and wiped it into the badge and then cleaned the badge uh, that way you, get, you can see all the detail and the wings of the ego and everything uh, like I said this is pretty shoddy very quickly put together very very quickly done uh, the only reason I did it so quick is I've been waiting in these passport holders because all the other passport holders I can find all have like passport printed on them and things I've been waiting ages for these to come like as in like a month uh, for plain ones to me ages to find them and uh, so I very very quickly rushed this video just so I could get it out you can build these very easily if you if you take your time you can get much better looking than mine just take your time cutting everything measure twice cut once uh, and you can get it looking far better than mine but for for quickness sake just for a display piece that came out quite well. Remember, I only used Mulder as an example. Obviously, you could do Scully, you could use them to make uh, the supernatural FBI badges. Uh, if you can get a scan of an FBI badge or even just take one up yourself, you could do it. But when it comes when it comes to the actual the actual badge, the metal badge, that's uh well, oh, like I said, that they can be quite hard to find. It took me quite a while to find one of these. Uh, and it's quite small so it's obviously not a proper replica like I said it's made to look basically be used as a uh, as a money holder but like I said try it yourself see what you come up with uh, if you manage to better than mine then please post comments uh, so you know like subscribe thanks